in the field of physiology, it was 600 years after the Quran was revealed that Ibn Nafis, he described the blood circulation. And 1,000 years after the Quran was revealed, 400 years after Ibn Nafis, William Harvey made it famous to the world. So in our textbook, we know the blood circulation was first described by William Harvey. Actually, it was Ibn Nafis 400 years ago. This is all media. And today we know that the food we eat, it goes into the stomach, then goes into the intestine. Just in a nutshell, as far as physiology is concerned, about the blood circulation and the production of milk, the food which enters the intestine, the substance of the food, it enters into the bloodstream through the vessels of the intestine. And via the complex media, very often through the liver, via the bloodstream, it reaches almost all the organs of the body, including the mammary glands, which is responsible for the production of milk. So what we have come to know today about the blood circulation and the production of milk is mentioned in a nutshell in the Quran 1400 years ago. In Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 66, we says that verily in the cattle is a lesson for you. We give you to drink from what is within the body, coming from a conjunction between the constituents of the intestine and blood, milk, which is pure for you to have. And the same message repeated in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 21, that verily in the cattle is a lesson for you. We give you to drink milk, which is pure, that comes from the within the bodies of the cattle, and in it are various benefits, and of the meat you can eat. So Quran speaks about the blood circulation and the production of milk in a nutshell 1400 years ago.